Hello, this is Jeff from FinalFitters.com with your tech tip of the day. Today we're going to go over a few things to know about your hydraulic brake system on your Arctic Cat snowmobile. It is recommended that before you take your sled out for the day and go riding that you inspect your brake system. So you make sure that your brake pads are in good shape, your brake disc is in good shape, your uh, brake fluid is, in, is full and uh, not low so you make sure that uh, you don't have any brake problems as you're riding. The last thing you want to happen is riding on the trail and you lose your brakes. Uh, you also want to make sure that your brake lever doesn't feel spongy or or your brake travel is too much, you know, that your brake lever is getting too close to your handlebars that you know you might have to bleed your brake system. Uh, when you're checking your brake fluid you want to make sure that you uh, that you can see the brake fluid in the reservoir eye, which is you know the, the see through eye on the reservoir you can you want to make sure that your brake fluid is visible in there and it looks good it looks clean it's not dark it's not dirty uh, if it does look like that you might have to change your brake fluid or I mean if it's low you're going to want to add brake fluid to it another thing you want to make sure is that you uh, check your brake lever travel you want to make sure that if it feels spongy or that if it's pulling in too far that you bleed your brake system uh, when you pull in your brake handle you want to make sure that it stays at least one inch away from your handlebars. If it's not that far, I mean if it's less than that, go ahead and bleed your brake system until you get more of, the, more of an inch of gap between your brake handle and your handlebar. And the way you bleed your brake system is you uh, take your cover off your uh, master cylinder, fill it with brake fluid, put the cover back on, go down, take the rubber cap off your bleeder, put a hose onto your bleeder and run down into a container, a can, a coffee can, whatever you want, and then pump your brakes up, hold them with your hand, open your bleeder until fluid comes out, close the bleeder, release the brake lever handle, pump it back up again, open the bleeder again until you can see that you're getting all fluid coming out. And if your brake fluid in your reservoir starts to get low when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you keep adding uh, brake fluid to your reservoir so that you never run low on brake fluid up in the reservoir which will get air into your system. You want to make sure you bleed it, you want to make sure you get all the air out of it so that you have a good solid brake and your brake lever is at least one inch away from your handlebar. If you do this, you make sure everything's good um, and uh, you'll have no problems when you're riding. You just make sure that your brake system is working good, you make sure you're uh, when you release your brake that your uh, uh, brake disc is free from your pads, you don't want any binding in there also. So you make sure you go through all that, make sure you check your brake pads, check your brake disc, your hydraulic fluid in your um, in your brake reservoir, make sure your lever doesn't feel spongy, uh, bleed your system if you have to and you should have no problems when you're riding. Again this is Jeff from FinalFitters.com with your tech tip of the day. You can reach us at 866-531-0123 or look us up on the web at funoutfitters.com. Thank you.